Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to be showing you some of the intro to Alan Bradley. We're going to be starting out with these first bar of instructions that you can use in Studio 5000. I'm in version 32 connected to a Compad Logics controller and we're just going to go through these first bit functions. The first thing we're going to do is pull up our controller tags so that we can go ahead and see them side by side. In, uh, I believe it's version 30 and higher, you can separate these into separate windows, which is very convenient. So we have over here at the top our examine if closed instruction, the XIC, or as most people call it, normally open. If we come over here to our tag database, we find our normally open instruction, and I'm going to go ahead and toggle that on. To toggle, I use Control T. It's a hot key to use. You can also go over here. It get, it's kind of convenient that it gives you what the hot keys are. But you can also right click to toggle that bit on and off. So you can see right now, our bit has a one, meaning it's toggled on. And the examine if closed instruction is allowing the controller to scan through this. If we turn it off, the controller stops scanning that line. It stops examining it. Now, moving on to our normally closed, or the XIO, examine if open instruction. This one is tied into this tag, our normally closed tag. You see that this one is lit up green. It's actually examining right now because our tag is off. If I come over here, again, Control T to toggle, I toggle that on, you see that the instruction stops scanning. It stops examining that instruction. If I turn it off, it begins examining it again. Now, moving on to the output toggle. I'm just toggling on and off on this one, a regular output bit, the OTE instruction output energize. I can also toggle it on from here. If I hit control T on that tag, you can see that it pops up and there's our output. I cannot, however, toggle this one on and off because it's being forced on by the controller over here. I can only toggle that input. Now you can see here when I turn this input on, the output turns on. When I turn this input off, the output turns off. The output instruction is only true, it only turns on when the entire rung is true. Now, moving on to the latch instruction, the OTL, see up here, output latch, OTL instruction. If I turn on our latch, just like before with the output, the latch instruction lights up true. However, when I turn off the latch instruction, you'll notice it stays lit. It latches on and that output stays on until you give it the matching unlatch instruction. And that's what we have down here, the OTU, output unlatch. You have to have the tags for the latch and the unlatch stay the same. So if I turn the latch toggle on, it latches, I turn that off, and now I unlatch by hitting the unlatch instruction. Now, we're going to move on here. So that's gone through our two examine on, examine off, output energize, output latch, and output unlatch. Now these three are a little bit different. These are called one shots. They only go true for one scan of the controller. So if I turn this on and then turn it off again, you don't see anything happen. Nothing, nothing appears to happen. Now, if I throw another rung in here, tie these together, and give myself an output latch, I'm going to call this one, uh, let, let's call it ONS latch, or how about ONS, uh, oh, I already have one of those. That's no good. ONS output latch. There we go. We're going to create that tag and finalize the edit. 
Now when I toggle this on, instantly this latches. But you'll notice that this output does not latch. It does not stay on. The one shot only goes true for one scan of the controller. It can latch or unlatch whatever it wants, but then it turns off again after that next scan. Now this is called an inline one shot, this ONS instruction. If I get in here, you can see ONS. That means it fits nicely inside of logic. So you only use it one place and it triggers this one rung when the inputs to it are true. The next one shot is called the OSR. This is something you'll find in older Slick 500 controllers also, uh, back to RS Logics 5, the PLC5 stuff, and very old, old things. They used, they used only these OSR and OSF. You didn't have the nice convenient ONS function. So to do the OSR, you'll see it's very similar to this ONS instruction up here. Turn it on, and instantly it latches this output but it doesn't latch the OSR output. I turn it off, I unlatch, and it unlatches. Now you'll notice the difference between these two, one shot rising, one shot falling. For a one shot rising, this is going to simulate us pushing a button. We start at zero down here, and then we press the button, and we've got one up there, just like in our tags. The one shot rising looks at this line. As soon as it sees you start to push a button, it sees a rising edge coming in. It turns on whatever the output is right there. A one shot falling, once again, we got our zero, we got our one, as we push the button, if we were to hold that, say for half a second or one whole second, and then when we let it off, it looks for the falling edge of that one shot and it triggers at the falling edge. Now we're going to come back over here and you'll see that when I turn this toggle on, our storage bit lights up in our one shot falling instruction, but we haven't turned on the output yet. Now when I give it a falling edge and I turn off the OSF, now it's latched. Now we're actually doing it. I can now unlatch the instruction over here. For setting up these OSRs and OSFs, it's very simple. All it needs, I'll actually uh, go ahead and create a new one so that you guys can see it. Let's put a new rung down here. Let's add an OSR, one shot rising. Now, it needs a storage bit. We can just call this uh, storage. It is a Boolean instruction. That means it's just a one or a zero. That's our storage bit. We're gonna create that tag. Now we need an output bit. So we're just gonna call this out. Once again, it's just gonna be a Boolean bit. So now, let me go ahead and throw an input on here. We'll just use our OSF toggle because it's convenient. When I turn this on, the bit lights up and the output lights up for one scan. And it'll latch whatever we have latched or whatever we have set up to latch. So that's the first run here of the bit elements of the Studio 5000 logic programming.